Hello everybody. Today I am going to discuss about the seventh part of the digestive system and uh, that is colon. We will discuss about the parts of the colon, the position of the colon in the body as well as uh, the functions of the different parts of the colon. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the notification of the daily uploaded new new educational videos. Don't forget to like and share my videos. So, the colon is the major part of the large intestine which is considered to be the final part of digestive system. So we all know that large intestine is considered to be the final part of the digestive system and the major part of the digestive system is the colon. It is the largest part of the small in large intestine. So if the question comes which part of the large intestine is considered to be the largest part then your answer will be colon. The colon is divided into four parts, ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon and sigmoid colon. We will see this. So this is the position of the large intestine. You have gone through this picture in the large intestine also. And uh, these are the colons. This is the ascending one. This is the transverse one. This is the descending one and this is the sigmoid one. Now you see four parts. This is the ascending part of the colon. Ascending colon. Then this is the transverse colon. This is the descending colon moving downwards. And this is the sigmoid colon. Okay. So four parts. Ascending colon, transverse colon descending colon and sigmoid colon. So different parts. The ascending colon is the first part of the colon. So if the question comes which part of the colon is the first part, your answer will be ascending colon. It is connected with the small intestine by cecum. It is 20 centimeter long. It is associated with transverse colon. Just we have uh, gone through the picture where ascending colon is associated with the transverse colon. It is also known as spiral colon because it uh, looks like a spiral. The waste materials are pumped upwards from ascending colon towards the transverse colon by peristalsis. Now what is peristalsis? How, what is peristaltic movement that is well discussed in the uh, part sequel of the digestive system containing esophagus. I hope you remember. The ascending colon is attached with the appendix via Gerlach valve. So you have to remember that that this uh, ascending the, that one part of the ascending colon is associated with the small intestine with the help of the cecum. Other part of the uh, ascending colon is associated with the transverse section or transverse colon. Now, the transverse colon is the second part of the colon. It contains middle colic artery. The transverse colon is attached with the stomach by large folds called greater omentum. You have to remember that greater omentum. These are the folds by which the stomach is attached with the transverse colon. Now, the descending colon is attached with the sigmoid colon. It is the third part main function of this part is to store the feces and uh, that will be emptied into the rectum. It is uh, supplied by the left colic artery. It is known as distal gut. So the spiral colon is the other name of the ascending colon. Distal gut is the other name of the descending colon. The sigmoid colon is the final part of the colon or we can say it is the fourth part of the colon. The name sigmoid means S-shaped. You can see the walls of the sigmoid colon is extremely muscular. 
and by contraction creates pressure inside the colon causing the stool to move into the rectum so it pushes the stool to the rectum so that it can be defecated from the body you have to answer these following questions in your copy and make a pdf keep it with you or send it to me so thank you very much for your patient listening this uh, digestive system sequel will continue to part 8